You want to hear a good story? Sure. Because this is a different, this is a That's different setting. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, with Beamer Ball, you know, I'm, I'm right there on, on the inside of everything, trying to generate content. And one of my one of my all time favorite stories is uh, after the uh, win over Louisville in that Gator Bowl, uh, Bobby Petrino, yeah. and, and it was the infamous Marcus Vick stomp on Elvis Doomerville. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to tell you this, Will. You'll like this, and your 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 viewers will like this. So this is a little little inside stuff. So I really enjoyed, um, like getting on. Like if you go back and and look at like old old game footage at the end of the game where the coaches go out midfield at the end of the game to shake hands, you know, game's over. You'll always see my big head, like right to the left. It's like, it's like security. And then I'm right there right. tucked in on the left shoulder of, of coach Beamer. Cause I mean, it's a little bit nosy, but also sometimes I got some, some nuggets out of it. Uh, I loved hearing what they said to each other after the ball game. I loved hearing what these, what these coaches uh, would say to each other. And sometimes it was hilarious. Sometimes it was intense. Sometimes it was it was pretty caring. Um, like Lane Kiffin, after Virginia Tech drilled him when he was at Tennessee. 2009. Oh, my gosh. He was out there trying tr- – he, he was looking for Bud Foster, wanted to fight Bud Foster. That was hilarious. And then um, uh, Bobby Petrino, okay? So I, Marcus, I think, hit Jeff King. So the, Louisville's coach at the time. Yeah. Uh, and I think we all know the reputation of Bobby Petrino. Marcus hits Jeff King in the back of the end zone to win it late. Good ball game. I mean, yeah. great ball game. That was game. very dramatic ball great game. Great ball game. Well, the Louisville players are just on Marcus Vick, and and it worked. Eventually, he lost his cool because Marcus had some off-the-field issues, and eventually he lost his cool, and he stomped on Elvis Doomerville, who was given given him the majority of the of the business. Um. Well, Coach Beamer didn't see it, yeah. and every, I guess every everybody everybody saw it. So game's over, Tech wins. Coach goes out, he's got his hand out to shake Bobby Petrino's Bobby Petrino's hand, and Bobby Petrino just s- slaps at his hand like that and peels off. Well, as he peels off, he's right in like I'm here's Petrino, and then he peels off like this, and and he's, I mean he's right here, and he and he kind of yells out mother effer. Like that, he slaps Coach Beamer's hand. He spins. He goes mother effer like that and walks off. And I'm like, ooh. And Coach Beamer's kind of like, you know, a little bit startled. So we get in the locker room, and uh, and Coach Coach Beamer is uh, they're they're telling them, hey, uh, Marcus uh, stomped on the Louisville players. I think Kevin Rogers knew it, but you're right. I don't think Frank. Yeah, knew and it. he's like, what? And I could just see that I could just see the whole air come out of Coach B, you know. And then I think he's starting to put stuff together. Um, and he goes, and he Marcus. He gets up, he grabs Marcus. He goes, let's go. He grabs Marcus, and I'm fo- I'm following him, you know. Takes Marcus out of the locker room, over to the Louisville locker room, bangs on the door. Coach Beamer and Marcus standing there. He goes, you're apologizing to that player and to Coach Petrino. Wow. And he's standing out there, and uh, so the door throws open. There looks like some equipment or some staff. And he goes, um, I, I'd like to see uh, Coach Petrino, please. And so the door shuts, and so they're standing there. And eventually, door throws open, and pretty much uh, this person said, Coach Petrino says, get lost. <laughs> yeah. So Coach is like, ha. Ah. So he grabs Marcus. So they come back to the tech. Tech locker room. So I'm talking to Coach Beamer. I'm sitting beside him, and you know he's out of shower. He's he's putting his uh his clothes on. He goes, oh man. He goes, can you believe that? And I'm like, uh, yeah. I said, I don't I don't think you heard it, Coach. But when when he slapped at your hand and uh, peeled off, you know, he said he peeled off and he said mother effer. And he goes, is that right? I'm like, yes, sir. I said, no, Coach, hold up now. I don't know if he was mfing you. Or if he was MF in the the situation, you know, he just took a bad loss. So coach is he's getting it, he's sitting there and he's getting his tie on and he then he's so funny. He looks at me, he goes, Who do you think he was MFing? <laughs> I said, I think he was MFing you. He goes, I think you're right. <laughs> that was that was Bobby, but I got it's just a million of those, Will. I'll bet. You- 